Come on, Oscar, get back over here. I've been commercial fishing since 1975. Long time. I want to say this right. It has really messed up a lot of people like myself having to lease fish the way they got their quota. I've been fishing snapper since 1975. Yeah. How much did you have to lease last year for your three boats? Probably roughly 50,000. They had a system where with the season opened January 1st, everybody had to rush out to catch their quota in, you know, a month, month and a half, prices would collapse. So it was an economic decision. What we didn't realize at the time was the unintended consequences, especially this business of, of um, leasing the shares. That's something that I don't think occurred to any of the council members or any of the NIMS people either. It's just something that evolved. Go ahead and wire you the money. You just call me back and tell me you got them and I'll run to the bank. And I'll put that other check in the mail to you about the grouper. And so what do you think for these guys who are having to shell out so much money to, to get the fish? I think it's terrible. I think it's terrible and it's abusive of the system that was never intended to result in that. Somehow, there has to be a redistribution of, of shares, I would think. So you were just getting some quota right then, huh? Yes, I just went ahead and got a thousand pounds to go with what I got already. So you were heading out on a trip, you go ahead and plan for buying some quota? And... Yeah, I already did that, yeah. Uh -huh. So this $3.25 that's going to these guys? Sitting on their butt doing nothing, <laughs> and we're doing the work. It's just a classic case of haves and have-nots. Right now, if they want to catch snapper, they have to uh, buy the right to catch snapper from somebody else. How in the world do these people own something that's supposed to be a common resource? You, know, you and I, as taxpayers, own part of those fish, and the government arbitrarily gave them to somebody else. So what do you think when you hear that a share is selling for $40 a pound? Uh, <laughs> I think it's absurd and abusive and a misallocation, a misuse of a public resource. This is a public resource. That we've, people seem to forget that. If they think they own a share, of a pound for $40, that's wrong. It's not theirs. It's, it's the nation's. They were gifted. I would love to see somebody get in office to, to just like you're doing, sit down with the paperwork and, and look at this. and. Say, my God, what, what what's going on here, you know? And what would that 150000 a year do for you as far as your business? And you based on a certain salary that you're living off of and somebody hands you another 150000 a year, what's that going to do for you? It's, it's going to make things great. <laughs>